starting with the great name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Myself at Asham Amid and welcome to my YouTube channel Computernetic Zone for another exciting lecture. In today's lecture, I will be discussing about coaxial cable which is one of the most important types of guided transmission media. Before discussing coaxial cable, we must know what actually guided transmission media means. In guided transmission media, communication devices are directly linked with each other through any physical media that are, that are cables. So coaxial cable is one of the types of those cables. Coaxial cable is also called CLOS. Coaxial cable can transmit signals at a higher speed over large distances as compared to twisted pair cables. So if someone asks you that what is rate of data transmission in a coaxial cable, you must say that it is 10 Mpbs to 200 Mpbs means 10 megabyte to 10 megabyte to 200 megabyte per second is a data transmission speed rate of in coaxial cable. In coaxial cable, the data transmission rate is 10 megabyte per second to 200 megabyte per second. Structure of coaxial cable. The single solid copper wire is called inner conductor. You can see here, this is a inner conducting core. So this is what I am saying that this is a you know single copper wire which is called inner con conductor. Fine. Back to the slide. The inner conductor is surrounded by three layers. You can see that this inner conductor is you know surrounded by three layers this is layer one this is layer two this is layer three you can see here inner insulator outer conductor and protective plaster cover so these are the three layers that is surrounded by inner conducting core the insulating material that covers covers the inner conductor and outer conductor of solid matter foil and the insulating material that covers outer conductor so you can see here so you can see here this is an inner conducting core fine this is the first layer that is that covers the inner conducting core which is called inner insulator you, you must know the difference between insulator and a conductor in conductor electrons move freely there is a current where whereas insulator electrons do not flow so uh, so current cannot flow from the insulator so this 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 inner insulator role is to protect this inner conducting core second one we have is the outer conductor which role is to protect this inner insulator and the last one we have is a protective you know um, um, cover which uh, the hole which is in which the whole cable is uh, being uh, covered so the the major role of this protective plaster cover is to protect external uh, plastic cover so this is a structure of a coaxial cable which is very simple it is consists of inner insulator inner conducting core which is uh, surrounded by three major layers uh, as discussed in this diagram so where we can actually use a coaxial cable in a practical life we can use we use in a digital telephone networks in digital telephones at your home offices schools or anywhere you can see there that coaxial cable is used there in cable TV networks. So you can see the in cable TV network the cable wires that you uh, put in behind the TV or in the plug in the, into the TV. The cable wires are the best example of coaxial cable. So the cable wires are actually coaxial cable wires. Fine. Uh, next is in man in metropolitan area networks. Uh, which is a network within a city so coaxial cable is used uh, in man so what are the advantages of coaxial cable 
which has excellent immunity when it comes to a nose. Uh, it, it has great immunity uh, to protect uh, the data from external noises. Uh, it can be used in analog and digital signals. And this is uh, one of the most important advantages of coaxial cable that it is used in analog and digital signals. Uh, and it is very very easy to install and its maintenance is quite easy. Uh, signal can travel longer distance at a higher speed. So why coaxial cable is preferred over a twisted pair cable because because signals can travel long distances um, uh, at a higher speed. So this is why the coaxial cable is really preferred over the twisted pair cable. So there are a few uh, disadvantages, the cons of coaxial cable that limited node connections are there you cannot uh, add as much as nodes uh, you want so there is some limited there so limited node connection uh, is there in a coaxial cable if you add more nodes then its speed will drop so it is prone to the damage due to lightning strikes so you can see the thunder lights uh, strikes uh, the coaxial cable are badly affected by in the lightning strikes so this is uh, so these are the two major uh, cons or disadvantages of coaxial cable. So that's all for today. It is a very very simple topic. It is a very very easy topic. What we have discussed is uh, that what actually is a coaxial cable, um, uh, structure of the coaxial cable, uh, and then we discuss about as advantages, disadvantages, and applications of coaxial cable if you have any questions regarding this topic you can ask in the comment section i will definitely respond there and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can subscribe it and click on the bell icon so that you can get more videos thank you and have a great day